A silent killer is wiping out our area's honeybee population, and beekeepers hope something is done soon before it's too late. News 10's John Swanner digs into what's killing bees and how this could affect what you eat and how much you pay at the grocery store. <laughs> Perry and Beverly Riley have been beekeepers for nine years. Since last summer, Perry has lost about 80% of his bees. He says last year's drought hurt, then this past winter did it a number more. They're already weak, and then that just put the hammer to it. As if bad weather wasn't enough, beekeepers like the Rileys will tell you there's an even more dangerous bee killer out there, pesticides farmers use in their fields. They don't kill them all at once. It's a slow killer. Uh, they. they you know, they'll go in the winter week and next spring they're dead. Purdue University says bees are dying by the thousands. A dry spring means pesticides can be windblown onto plants like dandelions. When bees come to pollinate, they're in essence covered in poison, which they take back to their hives. Just like you eating a little bit of rat poison every day. You know, and you keep eating it long enough, you're going to get sick and die. So what does this mean for you? Honeybees are responsible for 80% of all pollination that happens in nature. Without bees, fruit trees will not be as productive. They say other insects will pollinate. Well, the other insects all die. So in the spring, when your fruit comes on, the honeybees only one got the numbers to do it. Prices of fruits like apples, plums, and oranges could go up if the bees continue to die. Perry hopes we take a closer look at the chemicals used on crops. He says the bee shortage is at a serious stage. We're at the first stage of people starting to wonder what we're going to do. But Perry fears nothing may be done until we start seeing the consequences of killing off our honeybees. In Vigo County with photojournalist Tony Cassasia, I'm John Swanner, News 10. Prices on California almonds are also going up due to a bee shortage there. The industry even resorted to importing honeybees from Australia so trees could be pollinated.